Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to show you how to refill your sublimation ink. And I have the Epson ET2720 and I like to refill the originals. And the reason being is these have, I want to call it, it's like a key that fits into the ink. It just fits perfectly. So, you know, and it's the same brand, Epson, and I just think it fits better. It works better. So what I'm going to do is just refill it with any sublimation ink. And I'm actually using Printer Jacks. Let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I'm using, again, I'm using Printer Jack. And you can use whoever you want. What we're going to do is first thing is we're just going to take this off. And this is magenta and this is magenta. What we're going to do is open this. Definitely wear gloves because you'll get ink all over you. And I did place some parchment paper underneath me where I'm working and I have a bunch of napkins. I'm going to use the syringe and I'm going to kind of put it just at an angle when you are um, trying to suck up the ink because you don't want to get bubbles in it. You want to go super slow. I have this and I'm going to go ahead and set it on a paper towel because keep in mind this was in there so it has ink on it. And I always, always like to put the lid back on. Very important because it just takes one second to accidentally dump it over. And we're going to put this in here. And I've done a couple of these and I notice for me, I just do it super fast and that works. We're going to go ahead and just repeat that. And you can see this is how much it's actually like right here is how much I have. So I have a ways to go. Let me go ahead and show you again. We're going to unscrew, put this in here at an angle, and then just slowly take the ink out. We set it down. Now, just wiping it off. We're going to put it in here. And there is a little, um, it's like a little flap in there. So it does, this uh, syringe does fit in there perfectly and down. And you, if you end up getting some on there, we can clean it up as you go, or you can clean it up at the end. So let's just go ahead and repeat. Okay, so before we go ahead and put the ink into the cartridge, you wanna turn on your Epson, and you'll use the arrow buttons to select maintenance, and then you're gonna press okay. Then you select reset ink level and press okay. And then you're going to hit start. Next step is to select each color, put a check mark um, next to each color that you're going to refill. So I'm doing all the colors. So I'm going to select all of them. And then you're going to hit the start button and OK. Now we are ready to open the tank cover. And we'll open the cap for the ink tank that you're going to fill. You're going to open the cap for the ink tank and you want to just make sure that the color of the ink tank matches the ink color that you want to refill. You'll turn it upside down, place it in there, and then again, it stops automatically just below the upper line once it fills up. When you're done, you'll pull it off slowly and then put the lid on tightly and secure it and just do that to all the colors that you need to do. With the syringes that I used, um, what I did was I just rinsed them out and I let them dry. You'll want to let them dry like overnight because you don't want to have any water in the syringes at all uh, when you reuse them. So the longer you leave them out, the better so they can dry. And you can also even write the name with a permanent marker like yellow or whatever color it, it is for that syringe. And that's it guys. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope it helped you. And leave a comment below, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video, bye.